What's up guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to use LangChain to ask questions to your own notes. Let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do here is I'm using Obsidian as my note taking app. So I'm going to be loading the Obsidian loader from LangChain.document loaders. Then I'm going to set up the path to the notes where I have everything stored. So in this case, it's this path where I have my notes that I'm showing here on the right. And now I'm going to load those notes into uh, LangChain using the uh, loader variable that I initialized with the Obsidian loader class. Now I'm going to create my index. And right now, according to LangChain, the best, best index you can have is vector store index. So that requires Chroma DB, which you should have installed in your computer. You can just run in a notebook pip install Chroma DB. Then I'm going to load the vector store index creator, and then I'm going to access the dot from loaders method, giving the loader variable that I initialized here with the loader and create my index. Perfect. Now that I created my index, the fun part starts. I mean, it's amazing how easy and simple it is to, to do this on your computer. So, this is an approach that I think is going to change the way that we take notes and that we think in terms of like how we reflect with the computer. Because now I can just ask a question like, what are the eight problems I've listed on my 12 problems note about AI research? Because if I come here to my notes, I have a note called 12 problems that I was trying to, you know, I remember that there was this thing about uh, Feynman and a technique that he used to use which was to describe or the 12 main problems that you thought about that you reflected on. And I thought it was cool. And I started making this list. So it has like problems like intelligence generalization, what is attention, problem credit assignment. These are classic problems in uh, artificial intelligence research that I'm interested in that I think are fascinating. So I'm asking something very specific. What are the problems that I have on this note? So now I can say this. And now I can use the query with sources method, which is going to get my question and then send it to the index that I created before and return a result. So now when I run this, <clears throat> there we go. So this is the question. And the answer is the eight problems listed on the 12 problems node are problem intelligence generalization, problem what is attention, credit is It's perfect. And it's getting exactly what I needed, which was these notes. So it's just amazing how it works, considering that I'm asking something with natural language, right? I'm not doing a control F search on my notes. I'm asking something to my notes as if my notes, you know, were in as if I was talking to someone that read all my notes, and remember all my notes and can actually tell me something about what I've written before. So this is really cool. So now let's Let's just create a few more queries so that you guys get a sense for how amazing and powerful this approach can be for note taking, for productivity, for all sorts of stuff. So in this one, I'm saying summarize my thoughts on technology because I created a note here called thoughts on technology. Yeah, this was just like some random few paragraphs that I just created with ChatGPT just to see what happens when we ask a question like this. So let's take a look. Technology can be used to augment our capabilities, allowing us to represent complex thoughts and pieces of information. Um, and to outsource mental capabilities to reduce the effort needed to discover things. It's important to approach the advancements with a balance of enthusiasm and caution, ensuring that ethical considerations and societal implications are addressed. So this is really cool because it's getting, essentially it's coming here to this note as well as this note called path to focus, which I didn't even remember that I had. Oh, this is so amazing. And it's combining them, meaning it's given me insight about what I've written that I don't even remember that I wrote. And it's really cool because I actually just tested this. This was the first time that I tested this, uh, this particular query. And I did it based on the thoughts on technology notes. So the fact that it kind of like direct me to the, toward this note that I wrote that I've written a, a while ago, a while ago, 
is just amazing. It's really cool. So now let's do another one. So this is a bit more precise. So this one was more reflexive. Now let's do one that's more precise. So I'm saying, give me the main points of my note about automating data science workflows. Because I had this idea that, you know, with LangChain and these automations that are coming up using large language models, you know, one of the things that's really interesting is how you can automate data science workflows using these kinds of tools. So I started writing uh, a few ideas on this topic and I'll show you the note here on my right. So this is the note. It's a big note I generated with ChatGPT and then I, you know, did some magic on it. So you have these components, problem formulation, data set understanding, data preprocessing, feature engineering, etc. Right? So I'm trying to retrieve those specifically from this note. Uh, so let's see what happens. So now I'm querying. And let's see, the main points of the note about automated assessment workflows are leveraging natural language processing and AI-driven tools to streamline and automate various aspects of data science workflows. Okay, all right, so it's kind of like, it understood that it's the part about understanding. I wish it would have said just problem formulation, data set understanding, but okay. And then using AI power language models like ChatGPT to assist data science tests like data exploration. Uh, okay, feature engineering. Uh, let's open up this thing so that we see it a little bit better. Section and report generation. Okay, so it got this part, perfect. Model selection, it got this part, perfect. Um, Model interpretation evaluation. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So the this summary with the points wasn't as perfect as I was, you know, assuming just because it wasn't comprehensive, but it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It got everything almost perfectly right. So yeah. That's it. That's pretty much it. This is the power of using LangChain for your notes. You can essentially query your notes using natural language, which for me, I think it allows you to have like some next level insight into your own thoughts because you can start writing. Of course, you can always connect your notes physically, but drawing these connections by having some kind of model with whom you can chat is really impressive. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Cheers.